God, brothers and sisters, and welcome back again to my channel for another powerful moment of inspiration. As usual, the Bible is our standard. Now, today we want to look at another amazing story, and our story today has the title, The Name Jesus Christ. The name Jesus Christ. Our story comes from the book of Acts 3. We want to look at the story of Peter and John and the crippled man. Now, there was this crippled man who was a cripple since the day he was conceived and born of his mother. And one thing we know about this man, he used to be taken to a gate called Beautiful. And this gate was leading to a temple. And he was carried to that beautiful gate every single day. And his business was one, to borrow. Now, at that gate, he would be given gifts. He would be given arms. People will give him money. And I don't know any other kind of help that he would get. And you can imagine that that is what he expected from day to day to day. Now, a time came that Peter and John were walking to the temple and this man again was being carried as usual. Friends, there are many times we go through things that are usual. That is our usual way of doing things. This is the usual way I get my money. This is the usual way I'm expecting to grow. This is the usual way I am expecting to be blessed. Friends, what is your usual way? What is it that you're expecting to give you the breakthrough? What is that tradition you have been doing again and again and it looks comfortable? One thing that amazes me with this story is that this man was being put at a gate that was called beautiful. Hmm. Now that makes me wonder. It was a beautiful gate, but this was the usual place that this man used to be put. And now this gate was leading to a temple. And there was no other solution that was coming up except begging, day in, day out. What is it that you're going through day in, day out, and it is okay with you? It is normal with you. You are comfortable about it. Now, we are told that one day Peter and John were going to the temple at the hour of prayer to go and pray. And according to the Bible, that could have been around three o'clock in the afternoon and this day this crippled man was being carried again to be taken to the beautiful gate and he sees peter and john and at this point he was expecting these two would also give him something but i see in the bible what it says let us see what happens here so when he saw peter and john about to go to the temple he asked them for a gift uh-huh. And Peter directed his gaze intently at him. And so did John and said, look at us. Look at us. Now, Peter and John needed his attention. Peter and John needed him to know that he, they were interested in him. Peter and John wanted him to know that they understand his problem. Because many a times when someone calls people to ask for something, they look away or they are too busy or they are running because they have something to do. And this man looks at them. I can imagine at that point his expectations were higher. He thought they would give him a, give, a bigger gift. He thought they would give him something even better. But the one thing he did not understand that that was even a lower expectation. There is a season that when you look at the person telling you, look at me, there is something different that was going to happen. He was going to his appointed time, appointed miracle, appointed destiny. And the Bible tells me, Peter said to him, silver and gold I do not have. But what I do have, then I give you. But Peter said, silver and gold I do not have. But what I do have, that I give you. That I give you. Friends, as a man of God or as a woman of God, as a servant of God, as a child of God, 
This brings us to a question. What do you have? What is it that you can give other people? What is it that is inside you that you can give people when you have nothing to give? Peter and John look at this crippled man and say, Silver and gold I do not have. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that name that has power, that name that changes things, that name that changes lives, immeasure that name again and again. Arise and walk. Friends, I don't know where you are being stuck. I don't know that issue that you're used to. Some of us are okay. You're saying, I will make it with my salary. I will make it with my money. I will make it with my business. I will make it with other people's help. But I want to announce to you that some things are not done made by silver and gold. For many years, this man was sitting on this beautiful gate, being given silver and gold, being given arms. But this is not what God had planned for him. His breakthrough was not coming from money. Your breakthrough will not come from your salary. Your breakthrough will not come from your business. You need the name that is above every other name. And that is the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And today Jesus is saying, can you look at me? Can you look at me? I have a plan for you. You are used to that standard for long. I have a better thing for you. I have a greater thing for you. In my name, arise and walk. In my name, get into your destiny. In my name, take everything that belongs to you. There are things that cannot be changed by silver and gold. So today we are looking at that name that is above every other name. And my Bible tells me, and my Bible tells me, when this crippled had that word, and he was extended the hand and he was lifted up, he was healed. He was able to start leaping. He was able to celebrate the King of Kings. He was able to celebrate the Lord because in the name of Jesus, he was restored. Sometimes we limit God. God has better plans than the plan or the plans that you have for yourself. You need to look at the name of Jesus Christ and see the bigger picture of your life. Today, I want to announce to you that the name of Jesus Christ will change your life. The name of Jesus Christ will change your business. The name of Jesus Christ will change your children's life. The name of Jesus Christ will change entirely everything that has been stagnant for long. That situation that never changes. You need to surrender to it to the name of Jesus. You need to speak the name of Jesus Christ to that situation of your, your situation. And tell that situation you have been this way for too long. But in the name of Jesus Christ, arise. In the name of Jesus Christ, come back to life. Oh, beautiful name of Jesus Christ. Friends, where can we get such a name? Where can we get such a powerful name? Where can we get such a victorious name? That name belongs to me and you. That name was given to us to use it because it has given us power and authority to change every situation. May you receive that name of Jesus Christ today. If you are there and you are not born again, may you decide from today, I am not going to stay the same way. I am going to receive that name that has power. Friends, if you're there and you're saying, God, I want this name of Jesus Christ. Repeat this prayer be behind me. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I agree that I am a sinner. Many a times I've looked for people to solve my situation. Many a times I've looked at my job to solve my situation. Many a times I've looked at my money that has no power. But today I repent. Today I want the name of Jesus Christ. And I receive the name of Jesus Christ to be my personal savior. I accept Jesus Christ as my personal savior. And Jesus will save you if you're praying this prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray and believe. Amen. Friends, what a beautiful name. What a wonderful name. 
thank you again for joining my channel please let us meet back here again for another powerful moment of inspiration and i want to request you if you're new in this channel kindly subscribe share like and invite your friends to this channel may the name of jesus christ make a way for you shalom god bless you